It's the Vino Brothers, two amigos. Today, you got a treat. We're talking about barrels, 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 barrels. We got a French oak barrel here. We got an American oak barrel here. You know what the difference is between the two? Hey. What? Money. Money is exactly right. This sucker costs over $1,000. American oak, about $350. Why is there a difference? And I'll tell you why. Watch this. Oh, my God. Oh, golly. There's a difference. This has a, has a smell you can't even imagine. This is a good smell. But it's not this. The main difference is the tree. Quercus petraea. That's the tree that's grown. We don't have that tree in America. We have certainly have the same technology as the French, but we don't have that tree. I smell this. Oh, I'm immediately transported when we were kids back in New Jersey at Camp Wawayanda, cooking s'mores over an open fire. You got burning wood, you got chocolate, you got marshmallow, you got graham crackers. Incredible moment. If you could bottle this for aftershave lotion, I would buy a bundle, let me tell you. So why is this such a big difference? This is just a much more expensive barrel. We tried this one a couple of years ago. We still use it for sort of a little fill-in, but everything we buy now is French. We can't afford it, but of course we buy it anyway because it's just fantastic. I'll tell you, the cost isn't the only thing. Uh, when you smell a barrel like this, when you smell a French oak barrel, such as supposing, when they make barrels, incidentally, they burn the inside. When you burn the inside of seasoned oak, the sap rises to the surface and the sap caramelizes. And that's the key word, caramelizes. So if you're having a Chardonnay and you get butterscotch and vanilla, doesn't come from the grape, it comes from the barrel. If you're having a red wine and you get, oh, that, uh, that, that pleasant part of a cigar box or coffee, chocolate, cocoa, that's from the barrel. That's pretty much not from the grape itself. Makes a big difference, makes a big difference. It adds a flavoring. Somebody once said that how much oak should be on wine, I'll tell you how much. It's like watching a beautiful woman and having, she has some makeup on, but you don't really know she has makeup on. That's the way French oak ought to be incorporated into wine. Hey. Oh, good. My brother drinks too much. Hey. I don't. Here you go. Ah, that's it. <laughs>